Well, hi, my name's Andy Ellis. I'm here representing the Swansea Canal Society. My backstory is I lived in Edinburgh for, for several years and retired with my wife to Swansea to be with her first family. So overnight, I uh, gained three wonderful children and six even more wonderful grandchildren. Their connection with the canal started with walking their puppy along the canal bank in, in Kedek. We saw a gang of merry volunteers pulling weed from the canal, getting thoroughly wet and muddy, and thought, this looks like fun, we'll give it a go. So we joined up maybe 10 years ago. The Society was formed in 1981 with an aim to rescue the Swansea Canal. It used to run for 16 miles from Ab Craig down to Swansea Docks, but now there's just two mile and a half sections in water. One in the Swansea area and one in the Mid Portal area. This divides us neatly between the two. Uh, we, we have a, a band of roughly 30 active volunteers of, of all ages, although because our work tends to be on a Tuesday, they're mostly of a certain age. Although we do encourage anybody to come along and join us. Uh, we learn, learned about the what was then called the Queen's Award from one of their volunteers who had made an application in a previous volunteering life. We spoke to the Canal and River Trust, who owned the canal, and they asked around and invited Andrew Stumpf to become a nominator. Andrew had recently retired as the Chief Executive of Gundur Cymru, the Canal and River Trust in Wales, so he knew us and the canal very well, and he accepted the invitation to become and nominator, and we were very pleased to have that. So the, the process really was fairly straightforward. Andrew was responsible for actually making the application, but we supported him with providing the relevant information about the processes that we had in place, health and safety, standard operating procedures, uh, the, the financial situation of the society was quite important, so our treasurer was able to help Andrew with supplying that, 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 that information. And we were also lucky to, to be able to include the award from Kickwell's Tidy Green Flag Community Award as part of the application process that supported us as being a trustworthy body, I guess. Andrew obtained two independent referees, Tony and Tony. Anton Azzi, the MP for Gower, and Jeremy Miles, the MS for Leith. They've, they've known the canal and visited us, visited us on many occasions and we're happy to help. And then uh, Jane Clayton, who is the Deputy Lord Lieutenant of West Grimwald and came to inspect us on one rather wet and miserable Tuesday morning. She walked along the canal to see the, the volunteers in action. We found out that we'd received the award by email and then had to keep quiet about it for several weeks until the official announcement came. But of course we were all thrilled. As I'm sure you know, this, is, this award was introduced in 2002 to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's Golden Jubilee and it's now transmogrified into the King's Award. It's the premier award given to volunteer organisations equivalent to, to an MBA, so unsurprisingly we're absolutely thrilled to receive the award. The kudos of the award is understood by all. We, we've been able to report upon it greatly and it's been very useful when applying for funding and just generally raising the profile of the group. I think we are a bunch of volunteers that punches well and truly above its weight. I would recommend to anybody to apply for the award, the award process is easy and painless and the outcome glorious.